And welcome back, friends, to Resident Evil Zero. I'm Magnus. So this scorpion guy got his face blasted open. And now we gotta go and uh, release little Miss Piggy. No, I'm just kidding. We gotta release Rebecca from her cage. The cage that isn't really a cage, but more like a room sort of deal. Uh, I'm gonna pick up that later. This place, this place is still gonna be accessible for us for a good long while. Well, not a good long while, but you know, a while. Whatever. Right. So, can't really press that button either. Okay. Come on, Billy. Billy Cohen. Resident Evil doesn't have many good characters. I think Jill is an alright character, and even though he looks kind of stupid, Leon is is a good one too, I guess. But just Billy, man. Oh God. Chris too. He's just. Especially what they did to Chris in Resident Evil, I think it was Resident Evil Six, where he just, where they just completely redid, redid his entire backstory, and for some reason, he lost an entire platoon of people. Ugh, I don't know. Really wish I discarded that key. Oh, nothing to do with that now. Where do these guys come from? Ugh, come on. There we go. Alright. That's free. No, no, wrong button. Yeah, I know you're bored, Rebecca. Are you kidding me? Oh, for fuck's sake. See. <laughs> See, the, the, this, this stuff right here, it really doesn't need to exist. Because instead of just using it on, on the door there, you need to go down here. Uh, you know, gotta click this fucking thing. I'm gonna place the ice pick. I'm gonna press the fucking button. Watch it go up. Right. Well, you, you, you get it, right? I don't appreciate it that much. There's an item here. Take. I will take the ice pick. And then I will use the ice pick to pick open the door. Actually, no. If you had something sharp. I have something sharp. Come on, use it. Clicky. The doorknob isn't stuck now. Thanks. Alright, here we go. So I was going to do a thing with uh, Televidget today. But we're going to do a cooperative run through of System Shock 2. But, in our first level transition, the game crashed. Come on, Billy. No. It should be a button. Come. Um... There should be a button. Come 
Come on. Let's go. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, there we go. Come on, Bidley, you idiot. You dumb shit. We are going to go pick up our shit where you left it. Baylor's going to waste all his ammo. Did we kill them all? How about now? How about now? Oh, there we go. Oh, poor Billy. Are you hurt? Oh, there we go. Uh... Exchange. There you go, Billy. Uh, drink up. All right. All right, let's go. So Rebecca gets to carry all the fucking ribbons. Piece of shit ribbons. Probably shouldn't waste any more ammo on these zombie guys now. I suspect we won't be sp staying staying in this train for too long. We'll go pick up our shit and then we'll go save later, I guess. I'll go alone. Okay. No. Okay. You're not going alone. You are very absolutely not going alone. You know let Rebecca make some drugs. I probably shouldn't have wasted that green herb. Oh well. So combine. There we go. Written green herb. Uh, we left, what did we leave up here? We left a spray, we left suitcase, and we left that thing right there. Which we definitely need. This is a um, panel opener. Used to open access panels on the floor. Basically, you needed to open, if you remember in the kitchen area, there was an access panel down there. If I don't know if you noticed, but uh, it, it's it's there. <laughs> Trust me. I'm a doctor. No, I'm not. Doesn't have anything to do with anything. So we're gonna go inside here. Did we get the red herb from here? Is there a red herb here? Where's the knife? This is a knife. Let me get the ribbon. Suitcase, and you'll also get the spray. There you go. Take the fruit. You can't carry this item now. Why? Oh, that's why. Can we exchange this? Um. Yes, we can. Ah, uh, Billy. Why don't you reload your gun, then give her all your ammunition. There you go. That suits me well. You bring your knife. You never know when you might need a knife. There you go. We'll drag our asses back downstairs on save and call it an episode, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. I am positive we left something behind here now. I like games like these. It's got the perfect amount, perfect amount of action, perfect amount of you know, 
dumb mystery plot. And um, it's not so puzzle heavy that it just feels like, um, you know, pa it doesn't feel patronizing because I'm a dummy. Uh, most of all, I enjoy it for, for you know, it, it, it's it's not a murder mystery plot by any stretch of the uh, any stretch of the imagination, but it's it's got this mis mysterious vibe to it. I mean, the offset is uh, something's gone all fucky. So, what made it all go fucky? These appear to be documents pertaining to train operations scattered all over the desk and floor. You know, I guess I guess story driven is the word I'm looking for. I like those sort of games. It makes me makes me invested and I look forward to what what might happen next. So yeah, there's a typewriter in here, so we're gonna go in and peruse that typewriter and call it a day. Alright. She has the ribbons. Move Billy. Billy. Yes, I will record data, and with that, I will call it an episode, and I will thank you guys for watching so far. Um, by the time this this stuff goes to air, I will most likely be enjoying a vacation, so I'm pre-recording this. But uh, but do leave comments, like and subscribe if you enjoy this, share with your friends, share with your parents, share with your grandparents, or don't, and uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.